We interrupt regular programming to bring you a message. Hello again, and welcome to my Retro Tech, and welcome to the Retro Tech Loft. Um, in a recent video, you saw me get this shuttle HX61V working when it wasn't, and it was sold as being faulty and untested and powering on but in a boot loop, blah 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 blah. And it was the CPU that wasn't seated properly and the memory. So this is a continuation video of that, but not to continue refurbing it, but to upgrade it. Um, as you remember, it was missing a hard drive, and I've put one of those in, a 320 gig, non-SATA spinning mechanical hard drive, because that's all I've got around, and um, we put Windows 10 on. So, today, um, I've ordered this morning a mini PCI, you know, the inch high, um, Wi-Fi adapter to go into here because at the back it has two holes where the Wi-Fi um, antennas would go uh, from there so at the moment I'm using a USB um, 802.11n and what I've ordered is an Intel 2230BH uh, BNHM which I believe is the 300 megahertz, uh, 300 megabits uh, Wi-Fi adapter. So what I've also got is I've got two antennas, two rabbit ears, and two cables. So today I'm going to put those in there like that. Hopefully ready for the Wi-Fi adapter turning up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the case off. There we go, and then in here, I'm going to take the hard drive out. Like so. Yep, like so. And then, as you can see, the PCI adapter, the micro PCI adapter, goes in here. So, I'm going to move that So, it'll go there with two rabbit ears coming out to here. So, what I need to do is, first of all, is undo these two. And then work out which is the longer cable of the two. I don't think it matters. I think they're both the same length. Yes, they are. They're both the same length. Yes, they're both the same length. Possibly I need to find a smaller one. Yeah, I don't think I've got a smaller cable, to be fair. I think that's all I've got. And then they go in there, like so, ready for connecting up. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, tie the cable tie these down somewhere internally so they run along the top of the sockets and onto the, the board. Um, otherwise, we're going to have a lot of cables that are running everywhere. Right, so, what was that then? That dropped in there. So all I've done is I've punched out the circular cover. Punch out the circular cover. There we go. Yeah, so that's two circular covers out. And then we get, what have we got here? We've got the nut on the outside. And then we've got two like washers. We've got a grippy washer and a normal washer. So we'll put that. Does that go through there? Yes, it does, like so. We put that on there, and then we put the, the outside nut on there, like so. Okay, so that's finger tight for the moment. And I'll do the same on this side, which is Can. 
Yeah. There we go. It's a bit fiddly and a bit tight. So that goes on there like so. And then what we can do, we can get grippy grippers inside there and then there we go and the same on that side grippy grippers and get them there maybe not maybe that way oh yeah there we go and then One long cable on either side. It's uh, I mean, it's not very well organised in here, so I think maybe what I will do is I will try and reorganise some of these cables as well when I put it all back together. Um, what's that? That's the power for the SATA. Okay, that's the power for that SATA. Um, possibly can be, I don't know. Maybe cable tied up like that, maybe. I don't know. Just out of the way. Just so it's not it's not encroaching anything. And then the wire for this side will go along here. Along there, down to there, and the same with that one. That will come along there, into there like so. And then eventually this will come out. And these, we'll put these on now anyway because they're going to stay on. And that will come like that. And then that will come like so. And there we go. And that's how you upgrade one of these micro shuttle machines to internal Wi-Fi. This is just a, a, a card there, compatible card. The, the brand new ones, the AGs, the ACs, the... Wi-Fi 6s won't fit because they're too long, so it has to be a BGNT, BG, BGN maybe. So the, the the 300 megabit ones, and it has. Sorry, the 1980s is calling. Um, it has to be yeah, it has to be a small micro PCI laptop adapter. It can't be a bigger one because it obviously won't fit. And then that one in there is an M.2. Um, it's a micro, it's an MSATA, I believe. Um, so, what we will do is, I don't even know why the cables are wired around that way. It's very strange, very strange. Move that one out of the way like so. It's just very higgledy-piggledy. It's as if somebody has already taking this apart to try and fix it and put the cables back in the wrong place so that's okay there that's power to the board yeah okay so that should come up there really maybe I can get some sticky stickers and put one on that. I mean in fact I've got some somewhere some double-sided grippy stickers so that would go on there and hold that like that and then that can go underneath it to the Wi-Fi um, yeah, I mean it's got it's got three SATA ports on board. I can't see how you're going to get another SATA device in there. Actually, um, I don't know. You can't get a double height one on there, can you? Because they just don't fit. So I don't know how you would put three SATA devices in this tiny case. But anyway, yeah. The next clip, you'll see me put the Wi-Fi adapter in, and then we'll fire it up and we'll get Windows to install the drivers. It should be a real tech, no, sorry, it should be an Intel driver, so Windows should have it by default. 
and it should just fire up and I should just need to reconnect the Wi-Fi at home. Four to six days later. All right, so four days later, um, the Wi-Fi module has turned up. So what I need to do now is fit this inside here. The other Wi-Fi adapter is not here anymore. I can't remember where I put it or put it up there. That's fine. Um, that's out of the way. So now there's no there's no Wi-Fi on this. Um, so what we need to do is we need to take those off there. Take that off. Take these screws out here. Where's my screwdriver? It's over here. I put it away because I've been nice and organised. There we go. Okay, and there's the two cables for the Wi-Fi. So, we need to do... I've not tested this. Literally, I've just pulled it out of the, uh, the packaging. I also need a tiny screwdriver to get in there. So what have we got? We have got a tiny screwdriver. Yes, yes there. Right, so what I want to do is plug that oh no see it didn't go in first time that on there like so that one I think needs to go under that cable as well and in there so I got an Intel 2230AN I believe it is right so with these cables out of the way that goes in there and pushes down and then the tiny screw it is magnetic with screwdriver so that's okay good so the tiny screw excuse my head goes back in there like so and there we go oh you see and that's come off Bah! Humbug. Right, how do I organise these cables now? Round the back. Out of the way like that, that's right, good, good. And then that one just pops back on. Like so. I'll push it round there and into there like that there we go so everything out of the way back on there back in there back in there final screw up right so over to the phone connect it to the monitor and then we'll power it up and we'll connect it to the Wi-Fi and we'll see what sort of speeds we get a few moments later okay so we're back connected up now Wi-Fi um, antennas are spaced apart and we'll pull we'll turn on I disconnected that. I bet I've disconnected that. I have. I have. PC's disconnected. There we go. PC's connected now. 
There we go. There we go. Does help, doesn't it? If you put power to the actual machine. Uh, let's turn on. Let's turn on the mouse and get it on the mouse pad. I've got so many things going on around here at the moment, it's unbelievable. So I'm hoping with it being an Intel chipset that Windows will find it immediately. And let's uh, do that and then let's do this a bit so you can see what's going on. There we go. Ooh. Yes. There we go. Right, so where are we? Here. There. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is not connected. So I'll connect up to the Wi-Fi now and we'll see what sort of speeds we actually get. Brilliant. So there we go. So you can see it's connected up. Now I'm not sure whether I can tell you how fast this is. What's it connected at? So there we go, it's connected, as you can see, at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, not the fastest in the world, but you know, at least it's internal to the, to the machine and it's not. Um... Oh, message there to say this is an unknown device. Unknown device set up and ready to use. Um, what could that unknown device be? No idea. But anyway, let's try uh, fast.com and see whether it makes a difference or not. See what sort of speeds we get. Hmm. Okay, not the fastest in the world. Um, should be capable of 100 meg. But to be fair, I have got, as you can see, silver foil to keep the the studio cool and warm. So cool in the summer, warm in the winter. So it could well be that that's causing the problem. Yeah, 25 megabit. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's better than it was. I'm just wondering whether there's something else I can do as well to that to help. Um, let's have a look. Well, at least I know why the internet connection was slow. Look at all those Windows updates it's got to download. Um, yeah. I think I might just leave this for a while and it download and come back to it in about 40 minutes or so. And see, it's downloading two lots at the same time, plus Internet Expert, plus um, Edge. So I have a feeling that this is going to be, yeah, not good. Right, I'll leave it for a while, come back later on. So there we go. So what I need to do now is I need to activate this version of Windows and I'm going to use this PC to record my, my, my USB microscope footage for you when I'm doing refurbs because I've not been able to do that because it's been sat on the shelf doing nothing, connected to nothing. So there we go. I think that is a resounding success. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, select all so you get notifications when I upload all videos leave this video a like share this video with your friends and family if you think it's been useful to people um, don't forget to leave me a comment and as usual again thanks for watching stay safe everybody see you in the next video